Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this video I'm going to show you my Trunksy uh, XY2 Pro printer, a printer that I really bought dirt cheap from the internet and well I can't imagine this printer is this cheap and let me show you why. Now the core specifications of this printer are that it's a printer that can print up to 255 by 255 by 260 millimeters of print size and well that's pretty normal for a printer in this price range. Uh, it also got a fast heating build plate that works on 24 volts and this is also something which is pretty standard nowadays. It's got a filament runout sensor, also something you see very often, but then the special thing comes in because this printer also got a 16 point auto leveling mesh bed level sensor. And uh, well, this is a proximity sensor that senses the distance from the head to the bed. And uh, why this is great? Well, because uh, this means that you have a real good auto leveling function on this printer and uh, it's very easy for users that, well, that are not so common to 3D printing. So if you're new to 3D printing and you're wondering uh, which printer is the best for you, well, this is a very good option because this printer takes a lot of hassle out of the printing. Now, also, this printer got a resume printing after power loss function. This is something which is also pretty normal on today's printers. But this function is very special and there is a reason for it. Because uh, if you stop a print by yourself, so if you press the stop button, then you can choose to save that uh, position of the printhead of that moment uh, into a memory on your SD card. Now, the good thing about this is that you can then turn off your printer and when you, for example, don't want the printer to, to uh, stay on while you're sleeping, then the next day while you're at your printer site or, or when you can uh, watch your printer, you can turn it on again and resume the print. Then when you have to go to bed, you can turn it off again and every time it will save its, uh, its location where it was at that moment and it will continue printing the next time you start printing and well this is something which really works very very well on this printer I never saw it on another printer and I'm very happy with this function uh, because it gives you an option to stop the print where you want it really remove the head so not making a dent in the print and then start printing again when you're able to watch the printer. And well, <laughs> I love to have printers that are, yeah, that are special and this is a real special function in this printer. Now, what's also special is the complete interface the printer works with. Uh, this printer has a color touchscreen, a very big color touchscreen. And with this touchscreen there comes a new interface that I've never seen before. And I have to say I love this interface because uh, it's capable of, for example, showing how your print is going to look when it's finished. So uh, when you're browsing to the files that are on your uh, SD card, you can really see what files they are. You can see if you're printing the octopus or the elephant or that kind of things because you really see the picture of it on your screen. And well, it's new to me. I didn't see this in printers that are uh, below seven or eight hundred euros. And uh, for a printer in this price category, I have to say this is big news. Uh, then uh, this printer works with a removable print surface, so you have a bed that is removable. It's a PAY plate and uh, it's got a special coating on it and uh, well it works really well. It holds the print even when you stop the print, so the next day you can continue printing on that very same bed uh, without having to worry about the printing uh, or the print getting loose from the bed. Uh, and, well, I have to say, it, it, it's a perfect plate. There is only one downside to this plate, and that is that it's held by clips, and I really don't like clips. The problem that I have with clips is that, well, <laughs> they clip. Uh, no, they are very big, and they are on the print bed, 
and for a printer like this, which has a function to, uh, to do mesh bed leveling, that mesh bed level sensor hits the clips. So therefore you can't use the two front clips when you're doing the mesh bed leveling. And also the fan duct that is underneath the printer to blow cool air uh, to your print so that it can cool down very quickly. Uh, also that duct, uh, well, it hits the, the clips uh, and it can hit it when you're printing all, yeah, uh, to the edges of your print bed but it also hits when it is making the mesh bed level. And therefore you have to remove the clips uh, when you are doing the mesh bed level and then put them on again when you start printing. Something I don't like, but there is a very easy fix to this because you can easily buy a Wambam or other magnetic bed uh, that you can put on your printer and well, then all the problems are gone because then it's magnetic and uh, you don't have to use the clips anymore. And I think that's an upgrade you should do with this printer because it's an extremely good printer with tons of features that you won't see in any printer of this price category. And uh, well, uh, with a very simple and cheap upgrade, you can make it an even better printer. So, uh, well, I think that's an upgrade you should do. Now, that said, um, I really, I, I love this printer, so uh, I'm going to make another video as well where I compare this printer to, for example, the Ender 3 V2. Uh, a printer that's almost double in price, which is the industry standard right now. And uh, well, I think this printer is a much better option than the Ender 3 V2. Now, that said, uh, if you like the content that I'm making here on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel. Uh, also hit that subscribe button and uh, of course hit that notification bell as well because then you will be notified every time I make a new video. And I make new videos about 3D printing but also about laser engraving, laser cutting and in the future I will be uh, doing uh, videos on CNC carving. So if you like all that then please subscribe to the channel and uh, well, uh, in the links in the description, you can also find uh, more ways to support my channel, like for example, with a donation or uh, well, with uh, buying stuff uh, via my affiliate links. So you really help the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.